BCRM, that stands for Bronte Enterprises Customer Relationship Management. And for most of my career, I've been dealing with managing customer relationships, whether it's one-on-one -on -one in a retail store or at a hotel or in a sales office or a management office, uh, dealing with client relationships, either for my own business or for the companies I've worked for. And today I wanna to talk to you about the three biggest aspects of BCRM or thinking about customer relationship management, and that's contacts, contacting, and contacted. You can view more about the services we offer at brothingenterprises.com forward slash BCRM. Contacts. You need to constantly be making contact. I have about 7,000 connections on LinkedIn. I know many of them very well, some of them loosely, some of them just because people reached out to me. But having that level of contacts, it gives you a lot to fish from and a lot of relationships you can develop. So you should always be constantly meeting people. I challenge my students every semester to get at least 500 connections during the semester, and they can do that through networking events, reaching out to people they know already or, or making those uh, loose connections through third parties. Hey, can you refer somebody to me? Hey, can you, uh, do you know anybody who does blank? Uh, Twitter is a great place to have contacts as well. Uh, I have uh, over a thousand Twitter connections on my Robert J. Brathe Twitter handle. And what I find there is uh, there's great networking opportunities on Twitter. You know, you retweet other people's posts, you mention uh, articles that they've written. Uh, I very often love to go to on uh, Inc.com or Fast Company. I'll uh, hit the Twitter button on an article I like and then copy and paste that uh, tweet into my LinkedIn to post it both to my 7,000 contacts and to my 1,000 uh, Twitter followers. And it creates some really good dialogue where they're able to uh, be appreciated because you posted something about them and they kind of get aware of, of what you're doing. So once you have the contacts, you got to figure out a good contacting strategy. And I like these six methods the most in terms of you know, ways to connect with people that are in my contact list, potential clients, friends, etc. cetera. Uh, the phone, a lot of people don't pick up the phone anymore. And that doesn't mean you need to make a one hour phone call, but you can use tools to schedule phone calls, even just touch base. I like leaving voice messages with people before they get to the office uh, because it's gonna be on their voicemail and they'll have your phone number. Texting, you gotta be careful about that. Some people are very sensitive still and don't wanna be texted, but it can be a great way to keep a rapport going, especially with people that you have previously texted with. So again, a lot of these methods, if you've already used one of these to interact with that person, it's probably a good way to interact with them in the future. Uh, LinkedIn, as I mentioned before, 95% of the professionals I know are on LinkedIn and, and it's a great place where not only does it go through LinkedIn, but ideally it also go to the person's uh, email account if that's their preferred method of using it. You notice email isn't a method on here that I prefer for, for keeping in touch with my contacts. And that's changed over the years. There are still some people I like using email with, but I find more often than not, uh, these six methods are better because they're more personal, unless you really get a personally handcrafted uh, email message. Letters, people still like handwritten letters and, and receiving stuff in the mail, but you wanna make sure those are personalized. And that goes for your email as well. You, sometimes a short, maybe 100 word or less email to really have a call to action to it is very important. I always tell people about the AIDA method. And uh, with that, uh, anything you do should grab people's attention, generate their interest, create a desire, and then hopefully some follow-up action. And I'd be happy to send you some examples of what a good AIDA um, uh, communication uh, looks like. Coffee, you know, coffee's a great place to break bread. You, you gotta go work anyway, so might as well meet up somebody for a cup of coffee. And you know, you never know who you're gonna run into. You know, On Common Grounds in Saratoga is great for this. You know, I always seem to run into four or five people in addition to the per per person I'm meeting for a cup of coffee. And coffee can really, is, is better than lunch in most cases. You know, you, you meet somebody at 7.30 in the morning, you see they're a trooper, they're out of bed working like you, you know they're dedicated and are gonna show up. Food, really to, to, to solidify a contract, uh, maybe, uh, you know, I like breakfast and dinner better than lunch, but food is a great way to keep in contact and kind of take the edge off of some type of uh, discussion you're going to have. And then contacted, you wanna have some type of record keeping system. 
Again, I point to BrateEnterprises.com forward slash BCRM. We've worked with a lot of these tools, uh, Salesforce, Insightly, uh, SAP CRM, a lot of these tools. And, and it really comes down to the methodology more than the, the platform you're on. Uh, so you want to make sure you're tracking your weekly, monthly, and quarterly communications with people. If you're going more than a quarter uh, reaching out to people, you don't really know, that's probably not a strong relationship. Uh, so I often, even the people that maybe you only see once a year or unless they specifically say, let's check back in in six months, a quick little ping with a phone call or a letter or some type of outreach is a great uh, frequency to keep in touch with people. So again, uh, reach out to us through our website. We'd love to talk to you about ways we can help you manage your CRM system, set one up that works for you or really help you develop those leads and, and, and those dialogues. And you want to become that kind of person, and I found this my way, uh, in my world, by having this kind of uh, you know, breadth of contacts, these methodologies, as well as you know, the, the, the regular frequency of contact that I, I use Google Calendar. I just plug in some reminders. I also use my uh, task management system to regularly check in with the people that are important to me. Uh, or the people I think they're going to be important to me. And what it's enabled me to do is kind of be that person that people come to and say, do you know anybody who does blank? And if you can become that, you'll find that a lot of the people see you as a resource and you may be just that person that person is looking for.